Part 12. Setting Corners and Accessory Stones As you prepare to set manufactured stone veneer corners, you will notice that outside corner products have a long and short leg to provide the best finished appearance for your project. These should be alternated as you work your way up the wall. A similar appearance can be achieved on an inside corner by nesting flats into the corner and alternating stones from the two adjoining walls. Sill stones are installed like typical flat stones. However, sill stones exceeding 2 and 5 8 inches or 15 pounds per square feet require an angle bracket 16 inches on center and fastened at framing. If blocking is present, you have flexibility to install two brackets per sill. Shown here, Simpson A21 or A23 brackets measuring 1.5 inches by 2 inches can be used. These bracket locations require the use of construction adhesive to ensure a bond, as mortar will not adhere to metal. Penetrations for electrical box and light box stones are set in mortar. Often the installation is prepared with an electrical extension box to meet local building code. As you set accessory stones in mortar, shim for level and plumb. Once set, do not disturb until nearly cured. Hearth stones will be set on a full setting bed of mortar over a prepared surface. This can be achieved by laying 3 inches wide and 3 quarter inch tall ribbons of mortar, spaced 1 inch apart. As you compress the mortar, it will level and spread out, creating full coverage. Painter's masking tape can be helpful when grouting sill stones or hearth stones. Apply the tape on either side and under the joint. This will prevent mortar from falling out of the joints during installation and minimize any localized mortar staining. When mortar has become crumbly, tool it to match the rest of the installation. Allow to cure a bit longer, and when crumbly again, brush the mortar joints clean. Thank you for watching. Please view the other videos in this series for additional installation techniques and tips.